Hey friends, what's up? Ash here with Gin Sense. Hope that you're having an awesome day. Got in a fragrance earlier. I've been wearing it throughout the day. So it's time for some first impressions. Fragrance is from the house Paris Corner, which is a clone fragrance house. And I gotta be honest with you, up to this point, I haven't really had great luck with them. Uh, I've had maybe three fragrances from Paris Corner. And at best, they were kind of mediocre. And at worst, they were... <sighs> bad. I don't want to talk about it. So this one is from Paris Corner and it's Amir Sidrat Essence. And that bottle that looks familiar. It's like the Boucheron bottles, isn't it? So this one I got from FragranceBuy.ca just under $30 US. That's the cost on this bad boy right here. And in today's video, I will show you guys that was the box. I'll show you the presentation. Hopefully I won't I won't launch it off the table here and I'll let you know how the fragrance smells, what it smells similar to and whether or not this is a good clone, uh, so so clone or bad one. So let's jump into it. So again, guys, got this one from fragrancebuy.ca. I have it linked in the description in case you want to check it out. Right about 30 bucks, like I said but it's gonna fluctuate a little bit depending on the exchange rate between Canadian dollars and US dollars, assuming you're in the US. So here we got the front of the box. Actually, it looks pretty nice when you consider what most clone fragrance boxes look like. They look terrible, but this is not too bad. So you have Sidra Essence right there. You have a mirror, this little lion logo. It's an extrait de parfum, 70 mil size. You have actually the notes right there on the front as well. On one side, you have a QR code as well as the logo once again, and up top you have uh, the name of the house, name of the fragrance once more. On the back, you have a certificate of authenticity. I, I really love how uh, inexpensive clone houses will always put those on there. Also got your ingredients, and on the bottom, you've got your barcode and your badge code. My badge code is 37519. And here we got the bottle, and again, as far as clone house bottles go, it's pretty nice. I mean, maybe you could use a little more detailing on like the little sticker on the front and the name on the top of the cap, but it's okay. So it has this frosted glass feeling. It's actually really, really heavy in the hand as well. So that makes it feel a little bit more premium. You got the name of the fragrance there on the front. You have Emir on top of the cap. On the bottom, you have a sticker, which just says uh, the name of the house and extrait de parfum. And the cap has uh, a little heft to it clicks into place. Actually on top of the atomizer, it says Paris Corner and it is not actually on there straight. It doesn't align with the atomizer. I think that's really cheap looking. They could have just left that off, you know, no need. So that's the presentation. Let's go ahead and let's give it a couple sprays. All right, here we go. Let's blast this out. It's not too bad. Like the atomizer sprays out a good amount, but it feels, you know, a little chintzy, a little, a little cheap, but not too bad. You know, it's not the worst clone atomizer that I've ever experienced. So it should be really obvious to you if you have checked the name of the video or the thumbnail or even the name of the fragrance, what this is a clone of, but it's a clone of this one, Mancera's Cedrapoise. And this bottle, the clone bottle, is way heavier than the Mancera bottle. Like this stuff is packing some serious heft. It is though only 75 mils, so it's down a little bit in terms of how much fragrance is inside here as compared to the Mancera, but then the weight is like double the Mancera bottle. So this is all gravy, this is all good. You would think maybe they would have gone with a different color scheme where Cedrapoise is this kind of golden yellow, but instead they went with this teal color, both on the outside of the box and just dyeing the fragrance itself, but whatever. How does it smell? Is it close to Cidrapoise? Is it an abomination? Is it, you know, one of those Windexy smelling clones? Ugh. Our moth does the best, and by best I mean worst Windexy clones. Not all of them, obviously, a very small portion, but man, when Armoff gets that that Windex going, they get it going. Was it Armoff Craze Fresh? I think. Oh God, terrible. Who cares? We're getting sidetracked. Sidrat Essence. When you spray this on, yes, it smells like Sidrat Boise. In the first maybe legitimately three, four, five seconds, it's not as cohesive as Sidrat Boise, but it immediately settles in, and you get that black currant, you get that lemon, get that little bit of vanilla underneath, that fruitiness. 
all of that from Cidre Poise comes through here. And again, this was not expected by me because Paris Corner up till now, everything that I've experienced from them has been mediocre or worse. So maybe because they put a little more effort into it with the bottle and with the heft to it and all that stuff, you know, making it look a little bit classier, they put a little more into what's inside here, thankfully. But also that means it is a little more expensive than some of their other ones, so. I guess you get what you pay for, even though you're not paying much. So yeah, it opens up really close to Cidrapoise. You get that fruity sweetness, you get the vanilla as it starts to dry down. You get that little touch of white florals around the edges. I would say probably the biggest difference between these two, other than the obvious fact that this is a much cheaper clone, so it's maybe not going to be quite as high quality as the Cidrapoise, of course, is that as this dries down, you're gonna get less of that leather that you pick up in Cidrapoise. This does have that muskiness. It's got a little bit of that woodiness as it dries down, just like in Cidrapoise, but you don't get really, at least for me, uh, this first time wearing it anyway, that leather uh, to come through really. But that fruitiness lingers for a long time with Sudrat Essence. You pick it up in the opening, obviously, right away, and that, that fruity sweetness, it sticks around. It stays through the mid, even into the dry down, you can still pick it up pretty clearly. So it's almost like Sudrat Boise, if it focused even more so, on that opening in mid and tried to make that linger and last even longer. So maybe you don't get quite as much of a change with this one from the opening into the dry down as you might with Cidrapoise. The thing that people seem to love most about Cidrapoise is what they're really emphasizing in this clone. So I think a lot of people would actually really like that. And one other thing before I forget, I wanna drive this home. I talked about it earlier a little bit, but on the box here, you can see it says uh, 75 milliliters, 2.5 fluid ounces. Now on the bottle, doesn't say that anywhere, just says extract to parfum at the bottom, so you don't have the actual size on the bottle here. But when you look at that, it does look like 2.5 ounces. I bring that up because on Paris Corner's website, it says it's a 100 mil size bottle, and on Fragrance Buy, I think they took that from Paris Corner's website, it also says, 100 mil size bottle, but this is actually 75 milliliters. So that may or may not be an issue to you, but I think that there's like something a little screwy on Paris Corner's website. They don't have the bottle size correct on there. I mean, I don't know how that happens, but yeah. And then it carried over to Fragrance Buy, which I'll let them know, I'll, I'll shoot them an email. So it's possible that by the time this video goes up, that it shows 75 instead of 100, but just wanted to let you guys know. So if you do get this and then you go, wait a sec, this is 2.5 ounces, 75, it said 100 on the website. Just so you're aware, there is a discrepancy. Now let's talk really quickly about the performance. On the box, it says extrait de parfum. On the bottle, it says extrait de parfum. So Drapoise, the original, is an eau de parfum. Now I can only speak about this a little bit because this is the first time I've worn this fragrance, so take it with a grain of salt but Cidrat Essence does appear to be not really an extra to parfum version of Cidrat Boise as far as performance goes. So by that, I mean the projection, it's actually really good initially, but then it does seem to settle in in the first hour or so. And I actually thought it was really weak for a little bit, but then I started catching wafts of it and I was catching consistent wafts. That sounds strange, doesn't it? I was catching consistent wafts, if you know what I mean. Uh, anyway, it seemed like it wasn't all that strong. And I thought, man, you know, this has only been on, you know, four or five hours. It's an extra to parfum, you know, where's it at? But then I would catch a big hit of it and I'd be like, oh, there it is. Okay, so it does seem like it has pretty good staying power. It seems like it has a nice push to it, but I don't think it's any stronger than Cidrapoise. In fact, it might actually be uh, maybe a little bit less than Cidrapoise or, or right at that kind of performance level, which I guess is actually not a bad thing at all if the clone is pretty close to the actual fragrance as far as performance. That kind of is what you would expect, I guess. All I'm saying is don't look at that extra to parfum and immediately think, oh, okay, well, three sprays is gonna get me 12 hours and it's gonna fill up a room. No, uh, temper your expectations there. It's more in line with the Mancera. But for me personally, I get really good performance with the Mancera, so not a problem. On the whole, Sidrat Essence, how is it? Like $30? Is this a legitimate alternative to Cidrapoise? I think yes. The bottle, 
actually looks really nice compared to your typical clone bottles. I don't like the really gaudy bottles that uh, a lot of, you know, Armov, Softnons, Latafas have. As I've said a number of times though, that doesn't matter too much because as long as the fragrance is good, the bottle, you know, it can be ugly. Nobody's gonna see it really, unless they're going through your collection or something and who really cares at that point. But I do still like the presentation here. I think it's a little bit classy, looks nice, feels heavy, feels premium for a fragrance of this cost. The performance is solid, if not amazingly mind-blowing, still solid. And the fragrance itself, which is the important thing, is very close to Cidrapoise. You can definitely nitpick little differences between Cidrapoise and this, but the differences are small. To an extent, Cidre Essence is to Cidrapoise what Detour Noir is to Parfums de Marley Layton, which means if you're looking for something that is inexpensive, that's gonna get you very close to the real deal and still have good performance, this is what you want. And that's really what interested me to pick up Sidra Essence to begin with is there are a lot of Aventus clones out there, like a lot of Aventus clones. You know it, I know it, everybody knows it. But there's not really, at least to my mind, to my knowledge, uh, many Sidrap Waze clones, which is, a little weird because the Drap Boise, oftentimes people will kind of compare to Creed's Aventus. And this is one of the most popular fragrances from the House of Mancera, if not the most popular. It's one of the most popular, most versatile, most worn, most purchased niche fragrances out there because it's a great bang for your buck with great versatility and complement factor. So you think that you would see more clones of it from houses like Latafa, Afnan, Haramein, Armaf, Rasasi, whoever. But I've never really run into one until I saw this one. So that's why I got it. And I gotta say, not disappointed. This one is really good. If somebody didn't know any better, I wonder if you could show them these two bottles and ask them which one they thought was more expensive and how many people would actually pick this one. I mean, there are definitely some things here that kind of give it away for me that it's not as premium. Like there's a little scuffing around uh, the front of the bottle here that I think a more premium product would not have, but I think you could dupe a lot of people with this. Oh yeah, it's way more expensive than 30 bucks. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I'm running long. I'm sorry, I'm gonna wrap this up. Season-wise, I would say spring, summer, fall, daytime or nighttime use, either one. And overall, a really, really impressive clone for the price. So there we go, Sidra Essence for me. This is a nice one, a good surprise, but keep in mind, that that whole issue with the milliliter size you know 75 versus 100 this is obviously 75. all right guys that will do it for me thank you for hanging out with me thank you for your support stay safe out there i'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video see you guys later